All right, as we look at that storm tracker, we're still seeing a lot of that clear weather. And that, that was the theme today, warm and spring-like with that sun out. A couple scattered clouds in here and there, but for the most part, we were seeing nice temperatures. Unfortunately, that's not the case as we move forward. Still seeing a flooding, uh, flood warning in the area of Pocatello and the Portneuf River. For the most part, we're still in the upper nine foot region, so we are well above still flood stage. And as we zoom out, you'll see that those clouds are rolling in right now. And behind that, we're starting to see that moisture. Not as strong as some of the other systems we've seen in the last couple weeks, but you see that comma shape. You're gonna see a low pressure system start to move in with that front sweeping all the way down the coast. That moves in starting tomorrow. And what that means is we're gonna start to see rain. And in some areas, it starts to cool down further, and we start to see a mix and snow as well, especially in those mountain regions. See in the future tracker, in the morning, a lot of that rain's still scattered, but you see a solid band of that snow up near Ledor and Dillon. As we move forward, that moves out. That next full part of the system moves in. We see a lot of scattered rain now. It's around 30% here in Pocatello around 50 in Idaho Falls, and as we move forward, that those chances do increase. But for tonight, only chances. Chance of rain in the Snake River Plain, 42 in Pocatello, 40 in Idaho Falls, and as we move forward, that does cool down as well. Tonight, Central Mountains rain through the night, but for the most part, you do see it scattered here and there. 39 in Chalice, 42 in Salmon. Then finally, for the Highlands in Western Wyoming, mostly cloudy, and those temperatures in the low 30s. So you're very close to those freezing lines. Since it's further, since it's further to the east, we see less of that rain moving through so far. Now, as we move on to the, what the back half of our weekend looks like, that's when we start to see that rain move in. It's 50 in Island Park, 53 in Jackson, and rain transitions to snow for the central mountains. That rain has already been going through the night. It starts to cool down in the nighttime area for the next day, and you see those temperatures at 60 for the a peak of the day, but it cools down relatively fast and gets to that freezing level. Snake River Plain also sees scattered rain as well with 63 in Pocatello. So we still see those lower 60s, but as we look as the week goes down tomorrow, with that chance of moisture moving through, we even see a chance of thunder. Moisture solidifies as we go through the week. It starts to taper off by Thursday, but you do see that frozen precipitation move back. Look at that nighttime low for Thursday, seeing 32 right at freezing. So we do start to see those temperatures start to dip back into winter territory, even though they won't stay there for too long, luckily enough. Idaho Falls seeing a lot of that rain as well, Monday all the way to Friday for next week. So if you had any outdoor stuff to do, I hope you did it today or find a couple hours where we see that sun out tomorrow, but that chance of lightning does move in. A little bit early on that snow, though, seeing a mix on Wednesday for Idaho Falls. And then for the Teton area, that snow kicks off almost immediately, seeing that mix and those nighttime lows once again, 31, 28, seeing it well below freezing. Then finally for the Central Mountains, also seeing that mix early for the most part on Sunday, and then it clears all the way through till next week. So I know we enjoyed all that sun, especially for those science marches. I was outside all day, so it was really nice out there, but it's about to go away. Yeah, it was a good day. It was nice, but yeah. oh well. What can you do? Right. <laughs> Fire crews